Welcome to Family Food Day. Family that eats together, stays together. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Family Food Tales. I've been getting such lovely responses. Thank you everybody for watching these recipes and uh, making me cook more recipes for you. So today I'm going to share with you a recipe which is uh, a favorite in my house of both my children of of course Sanjeev and uh, I've learned this recipe from a very dear friend Aparna she was in school with me her mother actually she taught me this recipe as children we used to go to a house you know from school and you know auntie used to always cook this recipe so once when i'd gone to a house i asked auntie auntie please share the recipe with me and of course instantly she gave me the recipe and i've been cooking this recipe a lot for my children so first of all we need to make a paste for this recipe you know a green paste with coriander a little bit of coconut lots of uh, garlic fresh garlic green chilies ginger and some peppercorns and salt and of course the lemon juice make a nice paste or a chutney out of this and we'll use it for marinating the prawns that i have here so we're going to make a green prawn pulao over here if you're a vegetarian you can make it with paneer or any vegetables that you want i've made the green chutney i'll put some in the prawns right you can take even smaller prawns for this and don't forget to soak the rice for about um, one hour actually even half an hour is enough so like i said i've learned this recipe from my friend's mother i've made a few changes here and there but primarily it's the same recipe so we're going to heat a pan add some oil so here i have the star anise it gives a lovely flavor to the recipe and some peppercorns I like my pulao nice and spicy. Of course, if you're making it for your children, don't put too much of pepper. We can add some chopped garlic. In our house, everybody loves garlic, so I always add lots of garlic and some sliced onions. We'll just sauté it a little bit, and it's so nice. It's like a one-dish meal. You have rice, you have the prawns, and if you're vegetarian, like I said, you can add vegetables. You can add paneer. We'll add some of the paste to this. We don't need to cook the onions for too long. Just sauté it a little bit. So it's slightly translucent. Now we're going to add the soaked rice. I've drained out the water. It's about a cup or one and a half cups of rice. Here I have brown rice. Actually, it's like 20% or 30% brown rice and white rice. It's really nice for day-to-day -day cooking. Sauté the rice a bit with the green masala. Now we'll add some salt. Salt to taste. We've added some salt when we made the paste, so remember that. And now we'll add the water. Some more water. And you must be wondering when am I going to add the prawns? Don't worry, very soon. The prawns cook very fast, so I'm going to add it after about one or two minutes. As soon as the water comes to a slight boil, we'll add the prawns. <laughs> wow, it's so delicious! You know, it's so convenient to make, and it's a meal in itself. And like I told you, the prawns cook very fast, so we can add it a little later, like I did, so that they don't get overcooked. So now all you need to do, cover it and let it cook for about five minutes on high. Then keep it on sim and cook till it's done. So once the prawn pilau is almost ready, mmm, it smells so good, divine, completely. I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk to it. It's something new. It gives a nice glaze to the whole recipe. And if it's too spicy, it even reduces the spice level. It's up to you. If you don't want to add it, you can always omit it. Once it's stirred, you just keep it on simmer for about five minutes, and it'll be absolutely ready to eat. I think I'm going to see if any of my children are at home. I'm going to call them to taste it. So now that we've added the coconut milk, 
and let it cook for five minutes. We're going to check if it's done. Hmm, I think it's done. Yes, it's absolutely done. Wow, it smells so good. Oh, you're making prawn pilau. Yes. I could smell it in my room. Okay. Looks See? so good. Looks so good, na? You want to taste it? Of course. <laughs> See if it's done. Good? Nice and spicy. Mm. <laughs> Put it quickly into the plate. You can also have sole curry. Oh. You know, nice. it kind of digests the whole thing. If you want, you can serve it with this. This prawn pilau is so tempting and delicious. We can't wait to eat it. Rashita is mm. going to start eating it here. So quickly go do try it out and do share, like and subscribe. See you soon. Mm.